The difference between missions in this game is extreme. Kill nine mechs in a 5v5 deathmatch battle. Make an in-game purchase. <laughs> What's up, Sexy? I'm Lexi, and welcome back to MK. Today, we're taking a look at the people worse than crappy designers, r slash a-hole design. Let's get started. HP forces you to set up an account to scan from your new printer. I have a personal vendetta against anything that doesn't work without an app. I'm generally a techie person. Like, I get it, but like, basic functions should still work. And I'm pretty sure there's Wi-Fi scanner apps on iOS and Android. Try to find a way to bypass Medium's paywalls. How to get around newspaper paywalls. Read article for free. Oh, really? Is this is what you call free? A paywall right there? You know, years ago, McAfee was decent. It wasn't great, but it was, it was, it actually, it, it did okay. Now, McAfee and Norton have both become the very thing you swore to destroy. Domino's intentionally misled people to accept unwanted email and SMS marketing when checking out of their online pizza order. Uh. When you place your order, the Domino's family, oh, yeah, oh really? Mr. and Mrs. Domino themselves are going to email me personal details about their life and failing marriage. No, thank you. Uh, doing some sort of special occasion here. Yes, I am at least 18 years of age. Yes, I am. Sign me up for- No! No, 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 no. They put this at the top of the screen if I don't give them my data. You are limiting our ability to maintain the game. If you want to fix this issue, please tap here. No, just un uninstall your game and go play something better. The hell is- The hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Claiming they've detected plagiarism to scare me into using their service when spell-checking a discussion board. I just wrote without any online resources. We found 14 writing issues in your text and have also detected plagiarism. Thanks, Grammarly. I don't care. Actually, a more frightening thing is, is if schools are actually using stuff like this to like detect plagiarism and then it's like, oh, we found the words a rain soaked highway. And like, yeah, you did. <laughs> Woke up to an app I didn't download and I also can't delete. Yeah, both both OSs use this and, and many carriers do it too. It's like, I have NFL on my phone. I, I I don't sports ball at all. Like, if you do, more power to you. But, like, why? Why can't I get rid of NFL Mobile? It's the glitter of cell phone apps. Yahoo is now making its users pay to see their entire emails. <laughs> what? First off, Yahoo Mail still exists. Second off, um, this is, like, the weirdest possible way to... Couldn't you just highlight the text? Couldn't you just inspect element and, like, not show that? This is, this is so weird. Can you not scroll sideways? Oh, my God. I'm tempted to, like, find... Because there's a scroll bar at the bottom. I intended to, like, find my old Yahoo account just to try this now. The growing inaccessibility of science. <laughs> I read her by article. Oh, no. I'm sure you're talking about inaccessibility, like, like to disabilities, but also this. Yeah, I, plot twist. The article itself isn't TTS friendly. I found 100,000 pesos. This would be the equivalent of a $100 bill on the floor. It was actually just an ad. This seems illegal. If I, if I, if I printed ads and they had, like, cash on one side, I'm pretty sure somebody from the federal government would, would show up in a black SUV. And it wouldn't be to take me for a fun ride. No. You cannot unsubscribe from MK. Uh, wait, sorry. No, that was the um, <clears throat> world domination plan. Uh, no, you cannot unsubscribe. They just made the text blue. It doesn't link to anything. What the frack? Ooh, this is actually illegal. If you're in the US, look up the Can Spam Act. Uh, it's something that uh, everybody who sends out mass emails has to abide by. And the un unsubscribe link has to be a one-click unsubscribe. A new low for this Twitch streamer. Using the Twitch notification with a logo to confuse or panic a user into joining their stream. Wow. You're a jerk. Why are you following this person? That being said, uh, I haven't streamed on Twitch in ages, but the, the notifications worked like a third of the time. A and also, you'd ruin your... Oh, wait, there's so much wrong with this. They first changed the original audio, English, to crappy dubbed. Then they divided, I'm guessing, the contents uh, based in subscription tier. And all of their subscriptions are one-year plan only. Thanks, Disney. Wait, this is... Di what? Okay, I had to know more about this. Uh, so I think I'm going off of the, uh, currency symbol. I'm hoping seeing this right. I'm legally blind, so... <laughs> These are Indian rupees. So this is Indian Disney Plus. And 14.99 rupees, that medium option, the premium, is about 20 bucks a year? So I think still cheaper than, than Disney Plus here. But the audios, like, the way they're forcing the subscription on you, that, that seems really, really freaking stupid. Not only do you need to log in to read a forum post, you also need to own 
the product for it. Oh, oh, this is shady. They don't want you to read all the problems that this product has. They'll provide a user forum, but only people that have already bought it, they already have your money. Are they actually gonna let you see it? I don't know, maybe it might be a perfectly fine product, but mm, that's suspicious. None of these games are even a part of the sale. Super saver sales, save up to 80%. I don't even know what, what this is, what store this is, but, but bad for you. Man, I never finished the Spyro Anthology. I really need to go finish that, that was fun. Rush hour for release date, cast and plot, what we know so far, oh I hate these articles. I swear they're like algorithmically written. Frankly, your guess is as good as ours. Exactly. I swear, there there are entire sites where I swear I'm reading something that was just written by a computer. Like, like I know there are articles, but like, just auto-generated. Putting a fake hair on the ad. Oh, I see, oh. <laughs> It's like a, a, a weirdly specific trick. I, I almost respect the creativity of that. It's like having an ant crawl under your screen. I'm sorry, my email wants to do what? Activice device admin app, email. Allow email to remotely control security features on your phone. This will let email do the following. Erase all data. Erase the phone's data without warning by performing a factory data reset. Okay, so I can explain this one too because I'm boring. In IT, there's something called MDM or mobile device management. Basically, if your phone gets compromised, stolen, lost whatever and it has, you know, company emails on it, they can remotely nuke it. If you want to avoid this big scary message, set up your email only and, and don't link your entire account. The end. My university charges you to access your academic documents, despite costing you thousands of dollars a year to attend. I'm sorry, even for a digital, $15 for a digital transcript? I can get like, you know, paper or something like, like something. Like but just a, just a digital thing, like here's your grades. Oh my God, they're charging for a letter to confirm enrollment? Yes, we are aware that you pay us money. Please pay us money so that we can confirm that you pay us money. Smartwatch Notes app demands you to pay to see your own notes. Thanks for trying the app. Unlock the pro version to see the notes. Oh, and, I, and they put the time at the bottom like they were being helpful. I went to cancel my recurring delivery and found the contact number difficult to dial. Nestle continues to find ways to up their evil game. So uh, uh, X is nine? So uh, I guess you just press X a bunch of times. This seems like it's going to end poorly. All natural avocado oil. Ingredients. Canola oil and up to 10% avocado oil. We might have drove it past an avocado once. Told it about an avocado in a bedtime story, but it's mostly canola oil. Eat it. Paid and ads? Wait, where's, I've seen this art, I've seen this icon before. I don't play, I don't play mobile games, but Disney? Disney owns this? And they're putting ads in it? And it's too nice. This is, this is how I felt when I found out about that Hulu had ads. I was like, what's the point of a streaming service? <laughs> if you're paying and you're still saying, I don't understand. Mobile gaming is just a cesspool of in-app purchases and ads and I don't understand it at all. I tried making an Instagram account after my friends asked me to. It gave me a choice between an email and phone, so I chose email. Once I logged in, it instantly logged me out and asked me for a phone number because they detected suspicious activity on my just created account. I've heard of this happening a lot, especially to also on Twitter. I think Twitter, you just need a phone number now. It's pain. I hate it. Carpenter calculator. Do you want to upgrade to the pro version to unlock the plus button. Wait, wasn't this, is this the joke one? Or th there was a joke one where like every single operation was uh, was an individual microtransaction and it was ridiculous. McGavy creates a pop-up that will override any full screen task or game and try to get you to buy its antivirus again. This pop-up ad that prompts you to call a random 1-800 number. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is just an abuse of the of the call function. <gasps> Oh God, this is this is what I, I classify as an old people ad. An old person would fall for it. This advert disguised as a missed parcel note from the post office. Again, doesn't seem legal. Seems like impersonating like a, a federal agency or something. I don't know. There's unskippable video ads and a premium subscription in fracking Microsoft Solitaire. <laughs> no, no, are you, oh my God, are you serious? No, I have to check this now. Oh my God, I just opened Microsoft Solitaire collection and it looks like a freaking mobile game and there's dinkly noises and crap. Oh, this is terrible. And there are ads. And I found the premium edition. Oh my God, it's $2 a month or $15 a year. <gasps> what the frack? How far you have fallen? Ah, that, that just ruined my entire night. Let them wait for two minutes if they refuse our optional cookies. Wow, 
What a, what a piece of garbage. What site is this so I can never visit it? Refusing to publish a review. Our staff has read your review and values your contribution, even though it did not meet all our website guidelines. Thanks for sharing, and we hope to publish next time. Edit your review. Wow. <gasps> for Blue Buffalo, didn't they get in trouble for like... I, was, I don't remember specifically what it was, so I'm not going to say anything, but like, yeah, mm, that's, that's not okay. My mom ordered some candles from this company and got charged $60 for the free rings that come with orders over $100. Excuse me? Your mom better be getting her money back. I went to a vegan market on Saturday and treated us to some cheese. It was around six pounds each pot. We had a taste before buying, like you do. Imagine my surprise when I come to open them today and found the base full of wood shavings and the actual cheese was half the depth. Wow. What a complete ripoff. I know artisan vegan cheese is expensive, uh, but this was packaged and sold to deliberately deceive. Shame on you, Tyne Cheese Limited. Yeah, this is a problem in the beauty industry too. Uh, there's a lot of containers where that just have false bottoms and like that they'll fill the container halfway with product. It's ridiculous. Samsung quit making me use over 10 gigs of your bloatware. Explain to me why it's so important to have AR zone that I can't even disable it. It. All you're doing is taking up space on my phone, slowing it down because it also runs in the background, annoying every single one of your customers. So I have a Samsung phone. I actually like a lot of the Samsung uh, software. It's one of the few companies I'm okay with, but if I'm not using an app, I should be able to disable or uninstall it or just like push it back into their cloud so that it's not using up stuff on me. And it definitely shouldn't be running in the background. It doesn't show you where there are ads anywhere. Okay, I'm, I'm confused on this one. Are you talking about the, are you looking for the yellow things or the recommend? I thought, I think I think those are the recommended. I, I have no idea what this image is trying to show. I think they're looking for the yellow dots that usually indicate ads, and that's weird that they're missing. This unskippable video advertisement with a fake skip button that tricks you into clicking on their video to be sent to their product page. Oh, cool. I, I hate it. I absolutely... <laughs> God, it's comically huge too. Yeah, this is why I wish uh, like creators could pick their their advertisers. Like, sure, I actually like your product, and you run you know sensible advertisements. I'll run ads just for you. If you don't open the app, it keeps pestering you. Snapchat? Yeah, it does that. Oh god, I I used that app for like two weeks, and then I was like, no, no, this is this is just annoying. Seven years after this crappy album came out and forced down our throats, it keeps reappearing on my Mac, no matter how many times I try to remove. <gasps> oh, that. That album is going to be just scarred in everyone's memory. <laughs> they could have just given us a code. They could have been like, here's a free code for our album. You can take it if you want to, not just shoved it into our library. Facebook giving me notifications on someone else posting a story. I keep getting these too. I haven't logged in my Facebook account for like ages. And they'll send me emails being like, oh, by the way, this thing happened. I don't care. Spent 20 minutes looking for the cancel subscription button. This is the only way to cancel a Surfshark subscription. Uh, I, I'm not reading all of that, but okay. I, apparently you have to directly talk to somebody. I hate it when they make subscriptions really hard to cancel. But I'm scared of subscriptions in the first place. The way Adidas phrases this. I was about to agree to the first one until I saw the third and then read the first one fully. I've read and agreed the terms of privacy policy. I would like to stay up to date with, uh, no. I've read and accept the terms and conditions. Oh, oh, there's the real one. <laughs> Look for the little red stars. DoorDash recommends a tip of 30%. Doesn't even give 20% as a default option. Huh, I think I've used DoorDash once, but that's weird. I, I'm, I'm on the fence about this one because, you know, please tip you drivers. But yes, 20% seems to be like a really, you know, that's a common thing. So yeah. German media making it look as if Baerbock has less percent of the votes than Laschet. Oh, I, I have no idea who any, I'm sorry. I don't, I have no idea who any of these people are, but 12%, 34%, and 13%. <laughs> Some, somebody, uh, somebody doesn't know how to graph. But this is some Fox News crap. Man, over half the pot. This is, this is not how this works. Minecraft 2 release date, news and mods, all the latest details. When is the Minecraft 2 release date? Unfortunately, there is no Minecraft 2 release date yet. Why? Oh, I swear these are auto-generated articles. They have to be. This fake X button built directly into the image. Again, at least try, at least put effort in. They put a fake X. <laughs> God, they did. Oh God. This reminds me of a fake uh, virus I had to fix on somebody's uh, rig once. They downloaded some GTA mod and uh, it would it would boot into the Windows 7 start screen and it would loop the Windows 7 start screen and then a boot error, but it wasn't actually doing anything. It was just looping a, like a video on top of the login screen. A and it was hilarious because you could still see the mouse pointer for the entire thing. <laughs> 
Oh, this is janky as hell. I've ordered something from Flipkart, so I panicked a little when I saw that 19 missed calls from Flipkart in notifications. Too bad Flipkart is an a- You have 19 missed Oh, oh, it's an email call. Oh, that's, that's a jerk move. These stupid fracking ads. Yeah, who designs these? Are they just designed so that kids are gonna click on them because they have, like, recognizable icons and flashy color? Like, is that it? Also, I don't know if it's a real game or not, but the- Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, my favorite game, car. Fracking scammers texting my phone and a bunch of other people, these BS links, wh which are disguised as local parcel carriers. Yeah, I started getting these a few months ago and I almost freaked out. The first fake one I got was from UPS and I was expecting a UPS package that day. I dang near clicked on that link and I was so angry. Do you, do you have to recommend me twice? I'm assuming that's what that says. Wish videos kept playing when you close the app. Our new streaming service, YouTube Music and YouTube, that free. Oh my God, that is twice. That being said, I have YouTube Premium because I listen to a lot of Reddit videos with my screen off. So, so yeah. <laughs> I'm now getting three unskippable pre-roll ads on you. Oh my God, this is awful. This is why I'm always scared of putting ads on my own videos. Like, I don't want people to have to sit through this. Nothing I say is funny enough to warrant sitting through three ads. And that brings us to the frustrating and annoying end of r slash a-hole design. But wait, we have something that's not frustrating and annoying and it's some lovely fan art. Today's fan art is brought to you by user Tony the Preformer. And they say, decided to make an MK supervillain thing and just realized how bad it looks. Bad as in awesome, because uh, no, that actually does really look cool. I sense kind of minor Loki vibes from this, and I love it. Thank you so much for that lovely fan art user, Tony the Preformer. And if you'd like your fan art potentially featured in an upcoming video, remember to post it in r slash mk. If you enjoyed any of these images, no you didn't, but hit like anyway. If you'd like more r slash a-hole design in your subscriptions feed, that red subscribe button. As always, my name is Lil Lex Kitty, but y'all can call me Lexi, and you can find me on YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. Have an absolutely victorious day tomorrow, stay safe, stay awesome, make more stuff, and I will see you guys in the next video.